Roots back in Momba Zoo. We're making French fries. They're making we're making uh, poutine. There's people out there that actually said like they don't understand why people would like poutine. You're 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 wrong on every level. <laughs> it's like oh cheese and gravy. That's weird. It's not weird. You put gravy on potatoes, don't you? You ain't never had no cheesy potatoes before. Jeez. Okay. So here we are. We are currently. We produced uh, Murple Serple all night. Um, we skipped over a day. I think we started up on Monday last time. So we went through one day. The reverse osmosis is working great. We need fuel. One. So we're going to go head into town, I think. I also got this uh, oregano to sell. And then. Is this door closed? I don't like this. <laughs> what, is, what is happening here? Okay, here we go. So we're going to go to town and drop off this Murple Serple. Get fuel because both my fuel cans are empty. Maybe see my brother along the way. I think he's he's around. So we'll stop and see him. It's going to be a good... How are you guys doing? It's going to be a great day. I can feel it. Um, I might buy the... the If I can afford it by the end of this episode. I might buy the, the performance engine for the... Uh, for the car. Now this goes against every rule I've ever said about... Always upgrade your handling and your braking before. But it's a video game, so who cares? <laughs> okay, there we go. But in reality, please, I'm begging you, if you're going to upgrade your car, do the braking and prefer, like, like, okay, adding 20 or 30 horsepower, 40 horsepower, even 50 horsepower is probably not that big of a deal. But if you're adding hundreds of horsepower, please upgrade your suspension first, your brakes first, because that stuff gets real dangerous and I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I want people to love this stuff. And the more people that do stupid crap, the more rules they put in place for the rest of us. There's simple rules to follow. And it's it's important. <laughs> They're very important rules. There we go. Now, some of them are just unwritten rules, like I said. Like the idea that you should always have a better suspension and brakes than engine power. 100%. If you think differently, you really are not much of a car guy and you just like power. It's not always about power. It's about performance and performance isn't just speed and, and power performance is everything right so whether it's handling braking stopping you know, you know what i mean nobody here's dumb if you're dumb i'll tell you you're dumb in the comments but quit being stupid you're being dumb nobody likes your comments <laughs> stop it no, i'm kidding i'm kidding yeah but if you're new to car stuff trust me on this make sure all your systems are are together in harmony or you're gonna end up with problems you hate because then you'll feel like the car sucks when it really doesn't suck, and it's just the dynamics are off. Yeah. <sighs> okay. We're just going to be out of the seat here. We got we to gotta fill these up. There's nothing wrong with a car with crappy dynamics. Okay, let me see here. <sighs> or it's like, you know what else I hate? Just like someone in the comment the other day like made the joke about, oh, you have a soft spot for Fords. Obviously, you don't mind stuff that breaks down and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Fords don't break down anymore than anybody else. Anybody who tells you one car company is better than the other for reliability doesn't understand cars at all there's like nothing is more reliable than it no you know what it is honestly because like i don't know where everybody else lives but i know where i live you see plenty of old ford pickups driving around without any problems i've owned i've owned two of them that have been nothing but the, the measure of reliability if you really think one car company is better than another you are not a car person <laughs> you are a brand fan you're not a car fan you don't like cars. You like brands. Now, you could like one a little bit more than another, but to say that one's better than another, that's just lies. Like, I've been I've been working on cars long enough to know that, like, I've put it this way. I've pieced together, I've, I've helped rebuild a 2JZ that threw a rod with stock power. I've put head gaskets on a Ford before. So, like, oh, there we go, 65 bucks. I wonder if, I wonder if Norman will buy them. So, my point is, is that nothing is really better than anything else. It's just different you know they do stuff differently i've always had a soft spot for ford because i like what they do performance wise they, they do a lot of weird and strange things oh we got friendship now i'm going to talk to you and get some double friendship mm, stacking friendship on friendship boys now people also wanted me to get these 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 seats these fancy seats um i hate racing seats oh my god that's so expensive uh i i hate sitting in them i hate the look of them <laughs> they're just not for the street if the car is a full-blown race car, of course, then you need it, right? That's just a given. But if it's not a full-blown race car, not necessary. Uh, and I don't like the look. 
It's like when you people buy those racer looking um, uh, computer chairs. Why? You got high G-force? <laughs> you have high G-force in your in your in your seat of your chair? No, no, no. This is this is dumb. Uh, get a comfortable chair, something good for your back. Herman Miller, if you can afford it. Oh my God. If you ever sat in a Herman Miller chair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ah, here we go. All my barrels here. I got five barrels here today. I also want to pick up some stuff to do some more Merple Circle. Um, to hook up more trees. Yeah. I'm not going to have quite enough today to get my, my engine. But we do have five barrels, and we're going to hook up more Merple Circle, hopefully before the end of the day. So we can... Because I think I got 67 or something like trees hooked up right now. Yeah, get in there, fool. All right. How are we going to fit this last one in? Is that going <laughs> to... It's probably not going to stay there. <sighs> no, don't get me wrong. Like, I know it sounds like I complain a lot about this stuff, but the thing is, is like, in my lifetime, I've watched people ruin a lot of things that they make sudden rules about because they're like, well, the people aren't being responsible with that. So that's always my goal is responsible fun. Uh, because... <sighs> When you're being responsible and nothing's wrong, there's nothing to complain about. You always get the people that just hate it. Like, I remember uh, when people would freak out about skateboarders. Like, these old people would freak out. Like, on the streets and all this and blah, 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 blah. And so they started banning it everywhere. And then skateboarders, you know, they're going to keep skateboarding. So they'd start going other places and have, like, accidents. And then they were getting injured by, like, cars and stuff because they're skateboarding where they're, you know, not supposed to be. Because <laughs> that's, that's all the places they could go. And then it's like, oh, geez. So then they made skate parks and changed the rules again. Like, none of that needs to happen if we're responsible. But the reason it got killed to begin with is they're doing stuff like grinding in front of doorways and stuff of, like, buildings. That's the, But if you didn't do that, nobody would have said a word. Now, you're always going to have your Karens. I'm not sure what the, a male Karen would be called. We call them a, would we call them a Keith, maybe? No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know what you call a male Karen. But either way, you know what I mean. You don't like these people, man. They come along and try to ruin everybody's fun. It's like, see, but then again, some people complain and I don't care. Like, I get why environmentalists don't want big V8s and stuff like that. Like, it, th that's just sensible. <laughs> Speaking of which, electric cars, have you seen that new Lucid Air? Oh my God. It is a beautiful car and electric. It makes Tesla look like, eh, <laughs> just kind of boring by example. Now, the Tesla Plaid is a little bit faster for sure. But from a luxury, they benchmarked... Um, the uh, S-Class Mercedes for their for their car. Now, remind you, the top end version of this car is 170 grand. I think so. It's not like it's like, oh, it's a forty thousand dollar car. No, but it is. Boy, is it a? It is just a very nice. It's a beautiful car, alone, let alone an electric car. I oh, really you should go check it out. Lucid Air. Um, I would love to just drive one one day, see what that's like. But I don't think anybody's going to lend me a hundred seventy thousand dollar car. Nor will I ever have $170,000 to waste on a car. And if I did have hundred and seventy grand, it would be going towards my mortgage, not my car. <laughs> so that would be stupid. What a waste. I like to own my cars. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We're going to go down here. I think we should drop the fuel cans off on the way by because the, the, the one thing needs fuel. Now we got both cars parked in the garage, so that's awesome. Okay, there we go. We still got all our barrels? Yep. Okay, let's just park here for a second. And, uh, let's see. Fuel can. Okay. I'm going to... I think I'll drain the small one first, because then we can just leave it here. I don't need fuel on anything else but this. No, it would be nice if you could buy an additional generator that just held more fuel. So you didn't have to do this as often. Of course, getting on the grid power is like the whole point, right? So, I really want to do that, but that engine's calling my name. I want that electric heater, but I figure once I get the car uh, with the new engine in it, then I can save my money until I get... Yeah, I'll bring this with me and gas up the uh, other thing. Oh, no, no, close, please. All right, excellent. Oh, do we just need water today? You know, I should water these plants while I'm here. Truck idle, please. Thank you. I'll leave this in here now so it's always full of water when I come back. <laughs> this makes more sense. All right, here we go. Water, 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 water. Now, what I was saying about brands and being a fan, like, if you like, I want to be a fan of a brand, that's great, but you're missing out on a lot when you just 
want to be a brand fan. <laughs> There's a lot of really good stuff out there by other brands. Okay. Uh, and I'm tired of brands getting reputations that are t wholly undeserved. Like I said, I've, I've worked on enough Toyotas in my lifetime to understand they are no more reliable than your average chef. <laughs> so, like, and people always try to argue with me. It's like, dude, I've been doing this for decades. I, I, I don't, you know, like, uh-oh, wait a minute. Did we lose? There's a barrel that, yo, oh, yeah, barrel, barrel. Okay, come here. You just, you had to escape, didn't you? I've been trying to do this during the day, believe it or not. Um, the, the purple circle a little bit. Okay, no, just don't, don't be a dink. All right, here we go. So if we stood those up, we could probably fit more in here, but we're not going to do that. Anybody who knows me knows that. All right, let's see. So this can come out. That can come out. I think we should go hook up some new trees. Um, we got a few that need hooking up. I'm not sure we got a ton, but I know there's a few. And, and, and doing all the stuff to get around it. How are we doing here? Okay, we're good. Oh, we need some, we need maple syrup. God dang it. Do we have some in the truck? I don't really feel like firing this thing up right now. You know what, though? If we How much is in the thing? No, oh, it's not that much, actually. We'll, we'll drink that. we got to go buy more just so we have a backup supply. But I saw some trees down here that are right over here that are not hooked up. And then some other trees. Like, look at these. Like, this is this is a maple tree. That's a maple tree. This is a maple tree. And this is not hooked up to any mapley tree type things. So I'm not sure how we're going to pull this off. I'm thinking... Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this. Okay, if we went like this, this, to this tree, and then back to this, we could probably pull this off. So we'll grab some tubing. Um, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> Nothing that I do in this game is pretty. But that's not the po that's not the point, guys. Guys, let's see how many we trees we're going to start with here, and then we'll see how many we got when we're done. So we have 67. So what I want to do then, I know it's a little bit weird to, to rock it like this, but let's see here. So we have... I think if we just go and we put this, oopsie, like this, and then we take another one, and then we put it like that, and we take another one, and then we put it like this. Oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. Like this, and then we remove this one. like this and then we remove that there we go and then we put this here on the side maybe now just for crap for poops and gigs we're going to put this here and then run this back to here hopefully this works yep there we go and then we'll run this to that one that's not going to work for some reason okay well that means this is in a bad spot so we're going to pull that out try that perfect and then, oh yeah, and then we got to run from this to that, and then this to that. I think that works. Hmm. Oh no, we're missing one. Oh well, we can, we can we can hook this one up to a different spot. That's fine. I think this is this tree fully grown. Yeah, it is. All right, so I think we could probably do. Oopsie, this. And then that, okay. Let's just try this. What, what'd I do? Is that, is that right? Okay. Where did this go to? Did this go to this pole here? Perfect. Okay. And then I want this tree hooked up to this. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's just I'm trying to make it functional, not pretty. <laughs> I don't I do not do pretty real great. Is this one? Okay, so this, this one looks relatively easy. I think we can piece this together fairly quickly. Nope, that's not what I wanted, but I guess it'll, it'll have to work. So we're going to put this here like this. 
We just got to kind of do it slowly so we don't make mistakes and un disconnect something we're not supposed to. So, and then I think one of these here like this should work, I think. Maybe. We'll see. So we'll take, undisconnect this, and then we'll connect this to that, and then that to this, and then this to that. Does that function, maybe? I don't know. Let's go check. <laughs> Let's just go see if it's hooked up. That's damn right. <laughs> That's 73. All right. So then I think we can take, how much tube? We don't got a lot of tubing left. We didn't buy a ton of tube. We got, look at this. We got these two trees here. Pardon me. I just had a little burp there. Um, I don't know why I'm burping so much. Now, I got, I got Gaius. Okay. I'm thinking. Back to here, back to here, back to here. Maybe over to there and then back to that. Okay. Let me see. So let's, uh. Put this here. Right? Is this correct? Okay. Let's try disconnecting this and this. We'll prick this and we'll put this here like this. And then we're going to need to take this out and move it to this backside here, I think. And then take this from here to here. Okay, I think I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Okay, and then we gotta take this to here. Like that. Alright, okay. Okay, pick up the tubing. Okay, here we go. To you, and then from you, you're gonna go to Nya. There. Okay, I think I think that Boy, that is ugly. <laughs> it is the worst. Okay, well, you know what? How's it? 75. That's 75. That's not bad. Now, I think there's some more over here we can kind of hook up as well. Like, I'm not going to get them all today hooked up, but we're going to give her the old college try, I guess. Now, we have a lot of trees over here that are kind of like being stupid. Um, they're just, they're badly set up from the get-go. So we're going to need more tubing. Because I think I can rearrange these to all go into one section, I think. This is so ugly. But you know what? You know what? If it ugly works, it works. Okay. We're going to... Okay, here's some more tubing. We're going to need more of these and more tubing over here. And then we got some back on behind me here that need work. Jesus Christ. How many did I miss? No, what this is from is because I randomly planted, which I think what you got... If I could go back, I could go back. I should collect a bunch of saplings and then just wait and then cut down an area and just plant them in a row, <laughs> like a giant row of hundreds of trees back and forth, like maybe like 20 trees long and a bajillion feet wide. Oh God, this is very cold in here. Okay, let's see, what, what time is it? Oh, it's getting on. Jeez, we're gonna have to start this up soon. Okay, so we're gonna bring this over here. Um, Yeah, I think that would be the best bet, honestly, because that way you can organize everything super well, keep them away from your roads. All right, let's see here. Now, we have... I'm going to stick these all. I'm not going to, this isn't obviously going to be my permanent setup here, but I'm just trying to get a look at what I got going on here. I believe this tree needs hooking up as well. Look, there's a whole bunch of trees over there too. So this tree over here will need a hookup. Oh, can I not here? Oh, yes, I can. So how am I going to do this? This to this to this to, this. oh, oh yeah, here we go. Like that. All right. I think, you know what I think the easiest way to do this would be? It would be disconnect this, or is it that maybe? You know what? Actually, I can just disconnect here, put this to here, and then that back over to there, and then we can hook it up from that point forward. But this one needs to still go. Oh, okay. No problem. So, I think this can be disconnected. And I think if we went like this, to this, from this, 
to that. And from this back over to here, that'll connect those up. This one's still growing. This one's still growing. From the looks of it, we got a few over here. We can just connect into this section, I think. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, God, no, I keep doing that. It's, I, I'm trying to pick up the whole thing, and I, I'm picking up individual ones. All right, let's see here. Let's put this here like this. Because, like I said, we might as well. Like, we're getting on to... What time is it? It's almost two. I like to start this up right when it hits time, I could, when the syrup production stops. So I don't think that's going to work. So we're going to disconnect that and disconnect this. All right, there we go. And then undo that. Pick this up like this. Put this here. All right. I think that's going to be a bear right there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. So if we do this from here, Back over to that tree. And from there, that, okay, let's try that. Ooh, this may not work. We're going to try it, though. All right, so. We're... Okay, let's see here. So we want to go from here to here. And from there, we want to go to that's is that getting cut through that tree is that what that what's causing that problem i guess we could okay could we go around the back side of this tree maybe like this because i've planted those things in a bad spot so let's just connect this for a second Will this go this way? No, it will not, because that tree's in the way. But I might be able to shuffle this over slightly until this one works. Okay, let's see. Damn it, this tree is definitely in the way. Frig. And... Okay, so this this is never going to get to there, but it can get to here. Right? Right. And then this can go to there, maybe? And then this can go to here, maybe? No, we don't want that. Mm. I think that tree may be a lost cause at the moment. Because it's just in a, this, this little sapling is totally in the way. Unless I can grab it to th there. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, that kind of works. Now, the problem is, is these trees over here will no longer be easily accessible. But we'll worry about, we'll go get a post or something to do those ones. But I think that's, that's not a bad setup for today, I think. Because I think I can... Ooh, can we reach? I don't think we can get to that tree from here. Yeah, this is going to have to be our setup for now. Um, let's see here. I wonder how much... Yeah, these birch are in the way. I could probably cut the birch down, but... Then we still have nowhere to go, really. <laughs> so those trees may be coming down over there for now. Until I can set them up nicer. But I think that what gives us close, it's got to be close to what, like 80, 79. If it's not, if it's like 79 tank is full, kind of good. All right. Oh, tank's full. Let's, uh, let's fire this puppy up. We may need wood today. <laughs> We're definitely in, in, the, in the neighborhood for wood. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Get this in here. What happened? All right. Here we go. Oh, okay. Get in there. And a little bit of this here, uh, paper. I think we'll put two in and we'll just grab this. There we go. All right. Perfect. Okay, so that tank's full. Just when it hit three o'clock. So that'll boil. Probably bring these barrels in here, maybe. Oh, geez, stop that. <laughs> just getting stuck on that thing. Okay, here we go. 
This is a very good day. I like this day. This is a good, this is a good, you work hard day. Everything starts working out kind of day. Mm, so many barrels. All right, let's see. So how many trees did we say we got now? 85, was it? 81. That is quite a few trees, actually. Come on, boil up. Besides, I could use a little drink of maple syrup. Maybe a poutine. We should probably put these against the wall or something here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, why, why is that not flowing out? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Drink a little of that. There we go. Let's probably run back to the house for some poutine. Yeah, let's do that. So 81 trees from 67, so we gained, what, 14? That's not bad. Like, we got so many trees hooked up now. And some of them are still growing. Like, if you look at these, they're still growing. What I need to do is look at where, before I plant saplings again, I need to look at where my lines are and then, like, line them up so I'm not, like, trying to squeeze it all in. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things, you know. Ooh. This is good. Oh, 76 potato. Mm. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. This is good. All right. Let's go have poutine. I made a few more. Perfect. Ah, uh, this is, this is going so well today. It's almost ridiculous. Nice. Okay. Like, I think the whole key of this game is you just got to spend certain days just all doing the purple circle. That's it. Cause if you don't, you're going to have problems. I just can't believe I have 81 trees at the moment. And this whole setup is ridiculous <laughs> it's like one giant hose oh my goodness this tree go oh this tree's good why didn't i figure this one out well fiddlesticks well there's a couple here that still need to be hooked up but that's fine it's too cold outside excellent good suck this down suck her down slick we're definitely going to run out of wood before this gets uh, full, so we may have to cut down a tree. And I think... I think these birch trees could probably be cut down. Um, now that we get a collection of trees that are growing, so I'm gonna go grab my chainsaw, bring her back here, chop down those birch trees, hack them up in the thingy. What is that thing called again? The log splitter. Still have these here, too. Yeah, I could definitely... Like, look at this. There's definitely room to... Like... There's so many missed opportunities for trees right here. There's three right there that I can see alone. So, yeah, I think we can... If we just do a couple every time I play, we should be good to go. Come on, chainsaw. I love chainsaws. <laughs> I have an old two-stroke one. Man, it's disgusting. I don't know how much pollution that makes. But, boy, it runs, well. it runs great. Well, I don't have it anymore, but I did have a two-stroke, I should say. It was my father's old one. It was great. All right, let's, uh... It's like nobody owns a new chainsaw. I don't think I've ever seen a brand new chainsaw except at a store. All right, so let's... So these birch trees are good. So I'm just gonna hack these down. Because I don't like where they are anyway. So this will give me a nice pile of wood temporarily. Because if I'm gonna do anything here, I'd like to put uh, maple syrup trees right here in a line and then... It'll be easy hookup into the system this way. And I have a ton of wood. If I go by the trailer, I got a ton of wood over at uh, the other property. So if I get the trailer, I can go get that wood. But it's hard to get out of there because that to get out of there is a pain. All right. Where am I going to store this? Right here. All right, excellent. Well, let's get this thing up and running. I'm not sure how much fuel's in here, but... Oh, we got lots. We'll just, we'll just leave that open so we can see it. All right. Let's just start cutting wood. Did that speed up on the return? Or is it just me? Because it seems faster than it used to be. Excellent. So we're going to chop all this wood up here. Well, most of it anyway. You'd think an electric log splitter would be more efficient, but hey, what do I know? 
If they want to run a uh, hydraulic one, that's cool. I, I'm, it doesn't bother me, Eddie. <laughs> it's fine by me. All right, here we go. This is this is this is going to be a ton of wood to last us for. Well, not a ton, but it'll be some wood that'll last us for a little while. And then we don't have to worry about it for at least probably three or four maple. Oh my God, pick it up. Maple syrup runs, which is exactly what I'm looking for. We'll pile it all there while I have my other wood. Oh my God, would you pick it? Like, I haven't picked one of these up on the first crack yet. Look at this. It just doesn't want to pick up. I'm just not quite close enough. That's the problem. Okay, because we got to get. Oh my God, would you pick up the birch wood? Jeez. Buddy, are you serious? God, <laughs> just sometimes games are so frustrating. There we go. There we go. Perfect. There we are. This is going well. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed by the way this is going. It's five o'clock. Speed time doesn't speed up until after. Uh, what temperature are we at? Oh, we're a little low. We better fire some wood into there. There we go. Keep going, boys. Cause this is this is this is God's work right here. <sighs> Gotta collect the wood. Jeez, I wonder if I should even bother cutting all of this up. You know what? I'm gonna. Because what's what's the worst that happens? We're making Merple Circle, we're having a conversation. Yeah. People always say they want to see the boring stuff. Well, here it is. But by the end of this. We're running low on energy, so we may have to kill this beforehand, but the benefit of all this is it leads us to the promised land of new engine, and by uh, uh, St. Compression, we live. So we're going to do that on the morrow, and once we get all, because once we have all this stuff here, that's an extra, I think I have five barrels in there. If we can get all five filled, that's a thousand bucks. You know what? I think I have enough wood right now. <laughs> There's so much wood. Oh my goodness. You know, I know I'm just gonna just gonna cut the video right here. Okay, we're done all <laughs> we're done all the wood and just about out of that. So we're gonna turn this off. Actually, no, open that back up. I've got my gas can here. Let's uh fill that back up. It doesn't take much. There we go. How much is left in here now? 62%. Well, that's, I'm going to throw some wood in there and then take this back. Um, to the house and refill the generator before it runs out of fuel. Cause it's got to be getting close to running out of fuel. So, oh yeah, this, this barrel is empty. Okay. Full, I should say. This can go over here. This can go bring us in there like this. Dude, just get, oh my God. There we go. Excellent. Thank you. And I'll be right back by going over here. Well, oh, no, I need the gas can, fool. Okay, pick this up. Oop, that's under the thing. Okay, flashlight on, please. There we go. So we got a significant amount of trees hooked up. I think I want to get to 100 total trees, I think. Just just so I can say I have 100 trees. So that's 19 more. That's not That's not the worst. This is going great today. That's got to be close to empty, that uh, generator. Let's see here. Oh, geez, it's not at all. Jeez, that's going pretty good. All right, here, put this in here. I thought it'd be way more close to empty. All right, here, excellent. Put you on there. How much fuel's left in that? Jeez, 42%. That's not bad. Close this up. We don't need that. All right, perfect. Now I'll head back over here. And run the Merple Serple until it runs out. Because that's kind of what we do. And then we should have enough, I think, by tomorrow. That we can, uh... My energy level's getting low, man. So I have at least two barrels, Toto. It's 20 o'clock. Oh, that's good. Well, this barrel's at 100%. Nice. All right, excellent. Okay. Is that... Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. 
So we're going to have at least two barrels, maybe three. This is a lot of wood. <laughs> this is way more wood than a human being needs beside their, my poor log splitter is like buried in there. But you know, it'll do, it'll do the job. Log splitter, watch my wood. Thanks. There we go. Stare at it. Stare at my wood. Look at my butt. Look at my butt. You like that butt? Oh, you like that butt, don't you? I don't know why I'm saying this. Now, we're going to fill this up with wood here. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right. Perfect. We're running a little low there, so that's great. And how much is 58%? And how much is left in the tank? Ah, we can probably get through that. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Might only be two. Two and a bit. I like how fast this goes at night. It's like so fast now that I got this reverse osmosis. All route. Sugar. We're not going to fill that third one. Oh, no. She's going away quick. Oh, no. There it goes. Yep, we're out 88%. Now, it begs the question of do I come back and run it for a little bit in the morning just to finish up that third barrel? Or do I just go right away, drop off the two barrels? It'll give me enough to buy that engine. It would. It would totally give me enough to buy that engine. Frega dude, dull. I need, I need, uh, I need some maple, I need some herbal syrup. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. All right. Let's go over here. Okay. Let's see. Let's have a little sleep. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're not going to run out of maple syrup just yet. Ooh. Is it 4 a.m. when I wake up again? Oh, no, it's 7. Nice. Now, maple syrup production starts at 9 a.m., is it? Oh, maybe. I think so. Oh, wait a minute. I can pack this up. Leave you there, and then we'll grind this up. There we go. Perfect. We can bring one of the, these. just never go where I want them to. We'll bring, <laughs> we'll bring this where we want it. Okay. Ooh. Excellent. Okay, pick this up. Excellent. Okay. How are you doing for fuel? You're fine. Oh, I just put those on myself for anxiety, apparently, so that's fine. Uh, now I can't sell them. That sucks, but that's fine. Never hurts to have kicking around. And there. Okay, is this empty now? Oh, it's 8% gas. All right, no problem. Excellent. Okay, so let's... What time is it? 7.42. Sugar beets. I really wanted to get that third, but you know what? Maybe we'll hang around and just wait for the third barrel because it's not going to be much. So give me a second here. I will skip ahead because just watching me stand here and wait is going to be dumb. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right. So it's just about nine o'clock. I can't remember what I have in here. So I'm just going to fire it up and see what happens. That should fire up. There we go. Just, just when it started bumping, too. Nice. So hopefully we'll get that filled um, relatively quickly, and then we don't have to worry about it. I was just working on some trees over there, but it didn't work out. I really should have done these trees here. Because I noticed I got a few here that could probably be hooked up relatively on, on the easy side of things. Like, super easy. Uh, I should really do that, but I really don't have the I don't have the the things left. I think I'm out of tubing. <laughs> I think I'm I'm really close to being out of tubing here. Let me see. I got one tubing left. Well, maybe if I just take this out. Like, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, what? Okay, that was weird. All right. Okay. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, perfect. I might have steel taps too, but I think if I, um, I was trying to get these trees connected up and then I was going to find a way to get them over here, but you know, we could just kind of do it like this too, right? So, um, we got four tubes. 
We should be able to hook up at least a, a couple of things to that, I think. All right, let's uh, take this. Can we... Uh, it would it be better to do it on this side, maybe? Probably. And then we will disconnect that tube and then... Yeah, and then we'll pop this out. Put this on the back side, probably like this. Okay, let's see here. Okay, that's perfect. And that's perfect. But now we have this tree here. This whole thing is just a, is a butt. <laughs> it's just a butt. Okay, here we go. That comes off. We need another spout. Because we can. Then I got to check my fire. Oh my God, the whole thing is just a bruises. Where is the other spouts? I left them, I just put them all in trees down here so I don't have to run back and forth. Mm, give me this. All right, so we'll go check the fire too to make sure that's going up. But I, I like to keep busy when things are going down. But I also want to go get my Murple Serple delivered before it's a major problem. Okay, let me see. This may have to come on this side again. Possibly, let me see. <sighs> Yeah, I'm thinking that might work better. Oh my god, why didn't I pick that up? Do I have to do it from here? Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, I think... Pull this out. Stick this in here like this. I think this might attach to that. There we go. And then this can attach to that. And then will that will that make it to this or is this going to be a... Yeah, it's going to be a butt. So we're going to disconnect that. All right, we're going to remove this. We're going to put it... Here, maybe. There, that might work. Okay, so those are hooked up now. Those few extra trees. Uh, that's not all of them. As you can see, we still have one over here. But that's a couple extras. And we'll leave this here with two tubings on it. Now, I could use a little... I could drink a little Marple Serple right now. That's 100%. Nice. I could definitely go for some. There we go. There's 100%. All right, so... I think... I think we could probably head down. I think I might fire this thing all day and just let it use up what's in there until it runs out. So there we go. There's three. Let's put some more firewood in there. We'll just run this. I can't run it all day because I'll be away, but we can definitely load it up on, on heat. So it'll keep on functioning for a while as the Murple Serple comes in or the sap comes in. And then all we got to do... That'll fire it up really hot. And then we got to, all we got to do is take this in here. So if it over, if it fills that 240 up, it'll fill the barrel as well. And then we don't got anything to worry about. All right, let's go to town, drop this off. And then I think we got to buy ourselves an engine, boys. All right, here we go. Let's see what time is it. Okay, we got lots of time. All right, let's see. Uh, we're going to go in reverse here. That was not, re okay, that's forward. There we go. Excellent. I went looking at the gear shift. This is my own fault. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we're fine. I was going to say, I need my gas can, but it's over here now. It's like, we might as well fill up on gas if we're going to town. All right, let's uh, forward gear it. I think I have a one package of uh, oregano that I can take in and give to one of those guys. All right, let me see. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, here we go. We're going a little fast for this, but that's okay. Oh, geez. Stay in there, barrels. <laughs> Just stay in there. I know I can watch the mirror. Everybody keeps telling me. I get it. I feel safer looking for them. All right. Let's uh, put these in here. How much fuel we got there? Ah, oh, we got lots. Geez, that drain's slow. All right. Oh, yeah. Do, wanna, do we want to take it in and build friends? Do we want to be friends with people? Oh, no. I used it up. <laughs> Never mind. It's all right. My bad. These plants look wet. Yeah, they look wet. 
Excellent. Okay, let's put this closed. We'll take out the parking brake. Please don't hit it. Uh, okay, we're ne just narrowly avoided. All right, let's go see if my brother's home. I'd like to talk to him and see what's up. Perfect. Whoa, stay down, Barrel. I haven't talked to him in a couple of days. I haven't seen it. So it's been foggy this morning. I like that. Has it, has it been a foggy day before? I don't remember. It's 11 o'clock. The purple circle's flowing good. Let's see. Just Excellent. Just gonna see my brother. <laughs> this is like, it's such a routine. Like, go see my brother, go to town. What's up, Francis? Thanks. Ah, oh, good old Franny. Fran the man. All right, here we go. Get in there. Is it going to be his name from now on? I can feel it. That's how I work. There we go. I'll put it right in fourth now so I'm not <laughs> accelerating too hard through here because I have a tendency to go balls to the wall and then my, my maple syrup barrels fall out. I'm watching the mirror, I promise. I'm taking a look. Okay, we don't want to cut the corner because that makes them bounce. And two, quartering too hard will make them fall out. Is all three back there? Oh! Whoops! <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Don't say a word, boys. Don't say a word. It's just a little bit angled. It's fine. Anybody says anything, you're getting you're getting a beat down. Snitches get stitches. All right, around the corner here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, excellent. There we go. All right. Perfect. I got a, I bought a whole whack of cheese curds last time. So like my machine is full of cheese curds. I just don't know why people would find gravy and, and like cheese and fries so so like problematic for them. Oh god, barrel, 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 barrel. Stay in there, barrel. Just just stay there, brother. Alright, we'll do this on the way back. Because we're gonna have to stop there anyway, so. So this is an extra 600 bucks. Come on and shift a roo. Oh no, we're out of gears. <laughs> really over revving it there. There we go. Perfect. There we are. And okay, just let me out. Thanks. You're full and oh no, here we go. And you're full and you're full. We got three empties here. This is good. Okay. Three empties. Because if we had the electric heater, we could just run that all day. Like, no issue. Okay, we don't want to lose the, the barrels. I have a tendency to lose them at least once on the way home, so... There we go. See, this is getting great. Just making money. We're going to get on grid power soon. But now... How much fuel do I have? I got lots of fuel in my truck. We're fine there. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's just stop on in here. Turn that off. Get these out because these are empty. We're going to need these. All right. And uh, we'll get the other, you know, we'll fill both. I, sometimes I don't feel like filling both because it takes a little bit of time and I'm a very much a keep going kind of guy, but this is just how it works sometimes. There we go. Oh, geez. Are we going to be able to afford that engine by the time this is all over? Okay, that's it. That's filled. And. Come on. Oh, my God. Good. Excellent. You go back on. All righty. Excellent. Pick you up. Toss you in there. Okay. Let's go see uh, Franny and Norman. Not Franny. What's, it? What's this guy's name? Jacques. Mr. Cousteau. I love your work. Oh, my God. Should we buy it? Should we get it? Yes, we should. <gasps> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have. Uh, we're going to put this beside us in the car. Buckle it up, boys. Safety first. Nice. Okay, how much money do we have? Three hundred and fifty-nine dollars. We've been this broke in a while. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're gonna spend. We're gonna spend some of that three hundred and fifty-nine dollars. 
Okay, what, what? Oh no, I'm trapped. <laughs> Close this. All right, we're gonna get a couple of these because sometimes I'm not around my machine to get the maple syrup, so we're gonna put a three in here just so we have them. I know it's money that I should probably save, but I don't care. All right, so there we go. We're gonna have money tomorrow, so what does it matter? All right, let's see if that'll balance all the way home. It will not. Just for just so we just so we're aware of this fact. All right, here we go. Perfect. Okay. So no oh, I'm so excited about this engine. Wait a minute. Did I do any engine upgrades other than the uh, uh, exhaust? I don't think. Oh, no. Jeez. Boys. Boys, lay down. Boys. Boys, lay down. Just, dude, lay, lay down. <laughs> just, just lay down, please. Yeah, this is this isn't gonna go well. All right, well, let's take it home anyway. We got enough money to survive. Don't get me wrong. As long as we can afford uh, maple syrup in an emergency and uh, poutine when we absolutely need it. Well, we got a couple at home though, so we should be in gas. We can afford that. Oh my god, just just stop tipping over, bud. Also, too, I want to run. I want to run these barrels down to the uh, shed. And the gas cans can stay at the, uh, there we go. I think, I think we're all right. They're kind of tipped over now. <laughs> so let's just go with that. Excellent. Okay. Don't tip out. Don't tip out. Don't tip out. Yeah. The, uh, okay. So like the gas, the engine can stay at the house, but we're, we're going to have to uh, drive down there, drop the barrels and the truck off. What does that sound? Okay, that's good. All right, here we go. I like drifting into here, but it seems like a bad idea right now. Okay. Stop, please. Okay, so you can go here. <laughs> Just throwing it around. All right, here we go. Let's get this down over by the, uh, the place. All right, here we go. I don't know. I've never pulled the engine out of this car, so this is something new. And, and besides, I want to fire this thing back up and keep it running. And see if we can just produce enough syrup. Let's see. I want to, I'm hoping there's enough sap where eventually I can just run this all day and it's just like a perfect equilibrium of sort of filling up. Oh, yeah. Truck off. Excellent. Is this still burning or are we... We're out. But this, it feels, see, like I filled that right up. So let's just leave it for now until we can do fast Merple Serple production. And let's go back to the house. Because what's the worst thing that can happen? We swap an engine. And it's, what time is it? It's two o'clock. I'm pretty sure we can swap an engine in two hours. In this game, anyway. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We may have to back the BMW up a little bit as it is. Yoink. Yeah. <laughs> it's right up against the wall, but hey, I will just back her up a titch. All right, let's oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Brake on, engine off. There we go. It's looking looking beautiful. It's just oh yeah, we gotta pop the hood. So we can see. There we go. There. So how does one get the engine out, I wanna know? Do we have to remove all the crap? Let me see. Let's give me a wrench in there. I'm assuming there's engine mounts and stuff. Hmm. Oh here we go. Is this is this one holding it to the block? Let's see here. Is there one on the other side? Well, there is. And then we'll take the other. I'm sure we're going to have to disconnect the exhaust. And then. 
I bet you we're going to have to... I wonder if we take it out with the headers attached. That would be nice. I think we're going to take the intake off too because we got the crappy intake. And we're going to have to disconnect the transmission. Okay, this is fine. Perfect. <sighs> that one could come out. Jesus, how much of this do I got to pull out here? All right, let's crawl underneath it. Because I'm going to have to get the transmission disconnected as well, so... I'm just hoping I can get it all out. Relatively easily. All right, let me see here. Trans Oh, transmission is right here. Take this out. Ugh. I hate doing this much work <laughs> on this stuff. Ugh. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not patient anymore. Okay, let me see. This is my problem. I'm losing my patience with my old age. All right, here we go. Come on. There we are. And then we'll get this bottom one out, I think. And that can go over there. And this bottom one out. Is that all the transmission screws? All right. Let, or nuts, bolts, whatever these are. Okay, let me help. Please, thank you. Now, I'm wondering if I got to disconnect everything from it, like the headers and everything. So let's do that. There we go. Jeez, I got a lot of bolts on the ground over there. <laughs> okay. That can go over there. Because I think we got to take the intake off too. Because we got the crappy old intake, so I'm not sure this is going to work here. Let me see here. Header off. Engine out. What fell? Transmission fell. Something else fell. There's the intake. The OEM intake. All right, well, you know what? It's not terrible to have an OEM intake for now. But we're going to have to do something about that. Let's see here. Um, a wrench. Here we go. Let's get this thing bolted up. Perfect. Come on, just get in there. There we go. Put the engine mounts on. Boy, this engine looks tiny in here, eh? <laughs> it just looks so small. All right, let's get it in here. But then again, like when you're used to me dealing with V8s and stuff, it's, you know, it all looks small. All right, let's uh, pick this up. Put that on there. Where's the... Pick this up. Let's see if I can get them all over there right now, and then I don't have to go back and forth 400 times once I'm tightening it down. All right, let's see here. On you go. Is that is that all of them for that? All right. Whatever you say, Bob. Oh, no, get in there. There we go. Perfect. Jesus, this is a long time to screw these things in. And in it goes. Perfect. What about the OEM intake? Didn't it have bolts and then I... I didn't undo them from the engine originally? <laughs> So now I'm, I'm minus some bolts. I don't know. How many bolts hold this on? Jeez, I wish I would have taken it off now. Perfect. There we go. And... What 
what what is where does that want to go what what was that that i just screwed in there <laughs> i don't know what that was okay so this engine's out does this have brand new alternator and everything all right so let's get on our creeper We'll go back under the car here. Let me see. We get this transmission picked up. All right, drop the there. We go pick this up. Put this in here. And then where to put the wrench? There it is. And I'll pick that up. Pick it up. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And we'll start feeding these into here. Did I put the, is that, is that what I put in there? Was it the other? I guess I, I put in the exhaust screw bolt. Why do I keep calling screws? Jeez. I know better than this. There we go. I'm always afraid when I'm done with this, I'll have like one left over. And then you're like, where does it go? And how did it get there? In this case, I don't have enough because I used some of my extra bolts. <laughs> I, I forgot to remove bolts. And so they disappeared on that other engine. They were part of the intake. That can go in there. That one's in. Looks like we got a few that need... Uh, looks like we need a few extra bolts here. Okay. All right. So do I have any extra bolts in here? No. Oh, wait a minute. I got extra bolts right here. What am I talking about? Okay. Excellent. And that one went in. Okay. That one went in. And. Oh. Where does this one go? Oh no, where is this? is my worst fear. Come here, you. Let's get back under there. Where is it? Is it a transmission bolt? It's got to be a transmission bolt, right? That's all done in. That's all done. Oh, where the heck does this go? Well, fiddle my stick. Oh no. Is this transmission all hooked in? Yeah, there's all the bolts there. I thought I saw it just connect somewhere. Okay, what? Where, where does this go? Well, shit on a shingle. <laughs> where does this go? I can't find this. Does it go up here? Okay, this isn't right, man. What? We're missing a bolt. From where, though? Okay. Um. Oh, where the heck did I take that out of? Well, like nothing's attaching it. Like it should just physically go in. Let me just get my screwed, my wrench here. Just make sure that's not part of the problem. All right, here we go. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's just an extra bolt. How did that happen? Let's see if it starts. Oh, it, it runs. All right, let's, uh, if someone knows where that bolt came from, I'd love to know. Is it because I screwed up the, 
it's getting dark, but I think we got time to go for a little bit of a rip. Take her for going out for a rip. Okay. First gear. Oh ho ho! Whoa, okay, this is this is better. I like this. Oh yeah, she's 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 definitely uh rev happy now. There we go, come on. There we are. Come on, baby. Where does she red line at? Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. She revs it she red lines at eight grand. Perfect. Oh yeah, she's quicker, man, by a, by a lot. This is nice because you can hold the gear longer. This reminds me of that Ford uh, Voodoo engine, the 5.2 liter they had in the 350. You could just rev the other living ceiling out of it. Perfect, all right. Well, I think that was a success. Even though we have one leftover bolt, that apparently doesn't matter. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, up you go there, bud. All right. So this is absolutely lovely. <laughs> I have to say, this is going well. Let's get part some of this gas here. Let's go check on the Murple Serpo and the episode over there. Sorry this is so long. I keep doing this to these episodes. So I apologize. I don't mean to have super long episodes. But it keeps happening. So I apologize in advance. For anybody who has to watch this garbage. <laughs> Let's go see what's happening down here. Ooh. We're definitely maple syrupy and poutine right now. Running a bit low on energy. We've been doing a lot today. That's all right. An hour and 13 minutes into this, and we are ready to rock and roll. We still, oh, yeah. So we're not doing anything right now. So let me see. How are we doing? Oh, we got another eight. That's fine. We got... Merple circle. Oh, there we go. This is this is going all right. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, I'm gonna fire this up. I think because that's what we do. And there we go. And I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. This is a good episode, man. There's so much going on. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your dog to subscribe. Maybe get Danny to care to subscribe. He's already subscribed because he's awesome. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I am not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! I couldn't help myself. I needed that new engine so bad. Engines are my favorite. Out. <laughs>